So I'm here with England Fly Half, Johnny Wilkinson. I imagine uh, today was one of your hardest days in camp with it, five sessions in near 30 degree heat, Johnny. Yeah, it's it is a it's a challenging environment, definitely. But it's it's nice, you know. The, the it's it's a, a good <coughs> excuse me competitive group of guys and. And the stuff we're doing is, is you know it's widespread but it's also exciting some of it's new some of it's not so new um, but getting to know the guys that way is is, uh, is a very a good thing to, to do at this point you know it's early in this in this in the preseason to get to know the guys whilst you're working hard it's the best way to form bonds so no it's, it's been a tough day in the in the heat but you know we uh, we should be up to it. and this is your fourth of World Cup training camp now after 99 2003 2007 are there any differences between what you're doing now than what you did in those camps? I guess the principles are the same. You're just trying to get better, you know. You're trying to understand which details you need to work on. You're trying to fine-tune everything. You're trying to, you know, find the, the advantage where you move to next and, and all these kind of important things. Learning, um, you know, getting split into your groups, who works on what, schedules and all those sort of things. But the content is different. Uh, the group of players are, are different, you know, things have moved on since 99. Guys are, it'd be difficult to see whether guys were fitter or bigger, but training's changed and, you know, the, the spirits there, the skills are up higher and the kind of, um, I just guess the level's raised, you know, and so it's great to see, but, you know, I've been involved in a few now, but nothing changes, you know, it's all about that path towards getting better and, and trying to, um, yeah, find the, the <laughs> details and, and um, yeah, and, and yeah, I guess uh, I guess in some way just continue to find a bit more inside yourself too. And what was special about that camp in 2003 that obviously led up to, to the famous win? What was special about that? And can you see anything of that in in, in this current group? Yeah, the, the what was special about 2003 was. Um, the togetherness, I guess, the the momentum, the, the kind of rolling effect of guys that had just been through so much together, learned through it together, dealt with the highs, dealt with the lows, and, and gained an understanding as well of, of what it takes and, and, and kind of just being along the same path for so long. I guess always moving forward and always trying to... Trying to um, push the bar and to work harder for each other. You just gain such a tight um, group, a cohesive group that that you find that that momentum as such, that inertia, that energy kind of deals with a lot of moments for you on the field, you know, when the game's not going great and suddenly just that collective belief and that knowledge that you've been through so much together suddenly finds you five, ten points here or there. And yeah, there's huge um, similarities for me within that, you know, that the, the the spirit here in this group, the way that guys come in and feel part of it and add, the way that you find the best out of each other around you, yeah, around the the squad in every position, guys are, are doing it in such a positive way, you know, it's, it's never at the detriment of someone else, it's just everyone trying to somehow pull together to get the better out of someone else, to get the best out of someone else and it works well for me, we're building that momentum, building that momentum and that momentum I guess is the same, you know, is, is the feeling, is the, the similarity. Uh, if you like between those two, those two camp, camps, and that is that, yeah, you know, it's there. You can feel it in the background. You can feel it behind everything you do. Whether it's, you know, even if you're just going out for a meal together in the evening, or whether you're out in the training field all day. And a consistent factor between those two is obviously Martin Johnson as captain in 2003, and now as team manager. Do you think he's an important influence on these things? And you must have an interesting take, having been captain by him and now managed by him. Yeah, I think for, from his point of view, or from my point of view on, on him, I think. It's his, it's his values and his 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 system, his teamship system and, and his rules as such that create that kind of inevitability about moving forward. You know, because if you adhere to a structure um, of rules like that, a structure of kind of rules, rules the wrong word, but maybe a structure of values um, like that, and you adhere to them with everything you've got, then day by day, common sense would dictate that you will and have to get better and you have to move forward because it's all about giving um, to the team, contributing so someone else can do their job a bit better. It's about searching for the best in yourself, about being promoted and motivated towards trying things um, 
with a system put in place, which again is another part of the similarity in 2003 and, and now is the system of coaches and special help, specialist help that's around the squad, you know, in terms of Dave Wara being there and the kicking, in terms of having Calvin Morris on the on the fitness side and in terms of having, you know, you could name any number of these guys around the place and the coaching staff as well, um, all giving the guys every opportunity to seek and and make and gain yardage on all their individual goals as well as the collective ones. Great, Johnny. Enjoy the rest of your week. Will do. Thank you.